All right, as any parent knows well, naming your baby ain't always easy, but Warner Brothers Discovery execs reportedly do like the name Max. According to a CNBC report, that's what they'll name the combined streaming service for HBO Max and Discovery Plus. Allie Canal is here with more. What do you think about Max? Max, now I did reach out to Warner Brothers Discovery for a comment. They said they are still deciding, so this is not official, but Max is in the running. I think it suggests to me that they're still tied to the HBO branding, right? HBO Max, Max, not too different there. It also suggests that they could potentially be leaning in on that philosophy of more content, different types of content is always better. I saw a tweet from uh, Rich Greenfield from Light Shed Partners. He said that perhaps the tagline could be more content to the max or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna really get a firm answer on this until the first qu fourth quarter earnings. But isn't HBO the value, the name, the it brand It just had so many name, name changes know. though. HBO Go. HBO yes. Now, right? HBO But we've Max. grown up with HBO. We I don't even know why you need to change it necessarily. I just, I'm happy it's not Warner Brothers Discovery Plus because I feel like <laughs> everyone just goes Disney Plus, plus here, yeah. plus there. Right. But we'll see. There definitely is a lot of intention that I think goes behind this decision. There's a lot of cooks in the kitchen probably giving their A lot of brand equity there with HBO. Yeah, you're Just right. surprised yeah, at that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Well, I mean, the streaming war is obviously heating up. There's another streamer in the news today. NBC Universal CEO Jeff Shell was making some comments about the Peacock service passing 18 million subscribers. Yeah. Comparing that, though, with some of its competitors, doesn't really stand out. Doesn't stand out, but if you look at Peacock as a whole, they had 15 million subscribers in September. So to reach 18 million to date, that's a pretty big jump. And Jeff Shell, he was very bullish on Peacock, very confident during this UBS investor conference. He said that this is due to a lot of their program decisions, such as sports. He said really every sports deal that NBCU has made has involved Peacock in some capacity. He also credited the film studio that drip off that we've seen from Hulu. But with Hulu, that was an interesting part of this conversation as well, because the future of Hulu largely hangs in the balance. Disney controls two thirds of that company. Comcast controls 33%. And Jeff Shell said that by the time this deadline rolls around for Disney to make a decision on this by 2024, he expects Disney to give them, quote, a big check. So we'll see if they go through with this. There's been a lot of talk on Wall Street when it comes to what Disney should should do with Hulu? Should they sell it? Should they keep it? But whatever it is, it's going to value the company at a very large amount of money. For example, that agreement was originally reached in May 2019, and it set Disney's guaranteed minimum equity value for Hulu at $27.5 So the better Hulu does, the more money Disney's going to have to cough up.